this is what we call full coverage guys Welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna to be reviewing the l'oreal infallible concealer this is the l'oreal infallible modern concealer and this is what it looks like this is the l'oreal paris infallible modern concealer i got the shit Almond 337 got a very nice packaging like so this foundation claims to have a flawless full coverage it claims to be ultra blendable long lasting this retails for 9.99 and you can get it from super drugs or boots here in the uk it comes in 25 shades i got the shade 337 armored it's what the applicator looks like when you open it got a large doe foot applicator like so okay so i'll start by using my primer i always use a primer and because it's getting really hot now i use the benefit professional primer as i'm reviewing the l'oreal concealer today i'm gonna use the l'oreal foundation as well so this is the l'oreal infallible foundation I'm gonna use my Real Technic sponge to blend. Blend, blend, blend. I really like this foundation. It's one of my best drugstore foundation because I just love the blend, and it's full coverage, and it just it feels really nice on the skin. It's not sticky. It's not. It doesn't have like. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on. So now I'm gonna use the concealer. It's a nice doff applicator. It does have a scent, but I just I can't place the scent. It's not a perfumey type of scent. It's just um, I really can't place it. it. Definitely has a scent, but it's not an unpleasant scent. I think it's okay, so I'm just gonna apply it. The concealer feels really creamy. I really like the consistency. So I just place this up the usual places where I normally highlight, which is under my eyes, cupid bow here, down here on my chin and on the center of my nose i'm just playing around with the concealer it feels really nice i love the consistency it definitely looks like it's gonna be full coverage i tend to let the concealer sit like 20 seconds then i blend this is the real techniques mini sponge i've got it it's damp so i'm gonna blend with this i love this it is definitely full coverage i think it might be a bit quick drying i've just left it like some 20 20 30 seconds and it's close to dry but I like it because if it's dry then it's more full coverage it doesn't move everywhere wow I really like it I'm gonna blend this side as well this is blending like a dream guys it's really blending nicely I'm gonna put it on my lid because I'm not doing any eyeshadow today I'm just wow this is full coverage this is what we call full coverage guys like it's so look at us blend it just blended ever so nicely i think i've put in a bit too much i think with this kind of foundation and concealer you just put in a tiny bit and it goes a long way so a tiny bit goes a long way with this um product I'm just gonna switch it the other way around and just use less product. The dry side of the sponge. This is blending so nicely. This concealer is amazing. I just love the way it's really flawless, full coverage, and the blend. The, the blend is just flawless, guys. I'm gonna go in with my foundation sponge and I'm just gonna blend out the lines of demarcation between the foundation and the concealer so just to make it more blended it makes it really seamless 
So when you blend it with a foundation sponge, it just makes it seamless and it just blends into the skin. I'm now going to set this basing my Huda Beauty powder in the shade Kanofa to set it. Gonna quickly blend. So what I do, I tend to just press it into my into my eyes like so. So I do not really bake, I just tend to press the powder in like so. I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose as uh well. -huh. Literally everywhere I've highlighted. I really like this concealer now that I've set it. This is what the concealer is looking like. Really nice. And I just love the way it looks. It's really full coverage, super blendable. Just like it's it's flawless actually for $9.99. So it retails for $9.99 and yes, £10 and it's looking so like it's looking really high end. I'm gonna do a wear test today to see how it holds as well. I'm just gonna complete the rest of my makeup and come back with my thoughts on this. So I've kind of finished up the rest of my makeup and this is what the concealer is looking like. I really, really love it. It's nice, it's smooth. It's flawless actually, I really like it. So let's jump right into the specs of this. Like I said, this is $9.99 and you can get it from Superdrug or from Boots or one of these other websites like Fantastic it's called. So you can get this concealer from this website. It claims to be flawless full coverage i would say it's full coverage guys i love it it's just the coverage is amazing it's it's full coverage okay so it says it's flawless full coverage yes i think it's flawless because i love the way it looks it looks flawless don't you think comment down below what you think guys so it says flawless full coverage with a natural mate finish yes it is a mate finish it's not dewy and it's mate so the consistency it's not liquidy it's quite creamy in consistency and you know I, I think it's made the finish before I said it with powder it was it wasn't dew it wasn't shiny or anything I'll say it's a natural made finish it's definitely not cakey it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my skin so it feels really natural it feels really fresh on the skin and it says it's a long-lasting weightless wear I'm just looking at the website here and I would have to do a wear test to see if it's long lasting so I'm gonna go out and about and I'm gonna come back after a while to let you guys know how long lasting this foundation is or how long lasting this concealer is so I'm gonna do a wear test today it says it's a weightless wear it is not it doesn't feel like I've got anything on so it is amazing I like the feel of it I like the feel of it it says it's available in 25 shades that's a good range but we've got some foundations that I've got or concealers that have got over 55 shades so i think l'oreal l'oreal power l'oreal can do i think l'oreal can do better than this for 25 shades that's too that doesn't cater to a lot of people so but i got my shade i got the shade amand almond amand and i think it's it's perfect for my highlight color the applicator is a lash is a large um doe foot applicator i really like it. it just applied seamlessly and i like the applicator i don't know how many mil is in here it's 11 mil guys 11 mil for 9.99 really this the foundation already is one of my favorite foundations l'oreal fallible foundation i've got a review on this foundation on my channel so check that out it's one of my top drugstore foundation and the concealer is just made it to my top drugstore concealer as well i do love it i bought this with my own money so i'm not paid to do this but i really love it i i've used a lot of concealers i've used a lot of foundation i love the way this feels the foundation and i use both today so they don't feel heavy they don't feel cakey they just feel really nice like it's, it's like i've got nothing on obviously if you're not used to makeup you would feel it um, but I've had things that I felt something on my skin so it's really nice I love the coverage I love the way it's full coverage I love the price especially for $9.99 and if you're going through past boots and they're doing the three for two sale you know that would just make your day because you're gonna get three things for two 
for, for the price of two really so I always get things with around that time but I think I just got this on its own at this point so it's $9.99 and that's kind of my take on it so far it blended really nicely it feels nice on the skin it's full coverage you know let's see if it's long wearing if it's long lasting like it claims so I'm gonna go about my day and I'm gonna come back to let you guys know how this foundation fares at the end of the day See in a bit. Hi guys, so this is what the foundation and concealer is looking like. This is like after six hours. Yeah, so this is what the foundation and concealer is looking like. Um, ignore my eyes on this side. I was tearing up and I just, I was tearing up earlier. So that's why my eyes are like panda there. Um, I was kind of itchy as well. So ignore my eyes over there and um, but yeah this is kind of general what it's looking like I really do like this concealer it is full coverage it has a nice stain power it's not drying it doesn't feel like I've got anything on and uh, doesn't feel cakey it just looks okay um, for 10 pounds it's not bad I like the thickness I like the consistency and it is long lasting to some extent this is just six hours i can see the oil sipping through like for my t-zone area which is the usual for most um foundation or concealers that i use um but in terms of the concealer itself i actually like it i like the coverage i like the feel of it doesn't feel heavy doesn't feel cakey i've taken off my lashes so yeah it's the end of the end of the day for me today i just said you know what let me come back and tell you my final thoughts on this concealer so all in all i do love this concealer i think it's full coverage it stayed nicely it did not really i wouldn't say crease like this side did not really crease this side I was tearing up so I could see, you know, you could see the tears in there. But this side did not really, it's not bad at all. It did settle in slightly just under the eyes here. But the crease is not bad at all. This is quite good for a uh, drugstore. And I kind of like it. To be fair, it's not bad. It is full coverage. I love the coverage. I love the way it feels. And... Apart from my T-zone area, which is where I would usually get oily, under my eyes look fine. It really looks fine. For after six hours, this is really good. This is good. So it is full coverage. It is long wearing to some extent. Not 100% long wearing, but I would say it is long wearing. It's a long wearing concealer as well. And it doesn't feel heavy. In terms of what this concealer claims to do, it claims to be full coverage. I would say yes, it is full coverage. It claims to be ultra blendable yes it, it blends really nicely it also claims to give a natural mate finish I would agree with that it gives a natural mate finish and this concealer claims to be long-lasting um, this is after six hours and it's not looking bad at all so I would say it's long-lasting to some extent um, I would say it's long-lasting especially for a drugstore I'm quite impressed I really am I'm quite impressed with this this is get into this is literally legit one of my best um drugstore foundation now and concealer so the L'Oreal infallible I would have to give it a a 10 for a drugstore I would give it a 10 of all my drugstore I really do love this one I love the feel I love the way it looks I love the application and most of all I love the fact that it's full coverage I love anything full coverage that doesn't feel heavy I would I definitely love it so in, all in all I think this is so what the money is what the hype and that's it so that's it for the review guys I hope you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a like if you did and if you're new please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you see more videos as they come I'll see you in my next one guys bye